In this video we'll be looking at more examples of web-based resources and providing an in-text citation for those types of resources. We'll just need to make sure that we've got the References tab in selected and that APA 6 has been selected as our style. Our first example is looking at a source with no author. So if you were adding a new source you would simply go down to add a new source but in this case we've already included this information and we'll have a look at the edit source to see what information has been included. So if you can't identify an author of a website or a web page which is not unusual just leave the author entry information blank and the same for corporate author. So include the name of the web page in this case Asthma Management and in this um, example this comes from the Better Health channel so it actually is useful to the reader to be able to identify the publisher of this information by including the information about the Better Health channel which is actually a government website this um, adds to the credibility of this particular source that we're using. So because no author has actually been identified APA reverts then to using the title in the in-text citation. In our second example we're going to have a look at inserting um, a citation for a website where there's no date information being included. Let's just have a look at the source information for this edit source. So in this case we actually had no author, we had the page information, we've included the web website um, details to add to um, the information about the resource and because we couldn't actually identify a year of publication for this web page um, neither a copyright date or a last update date we would enter this information for any type of resource where we couldn't identify the year of publication the format used is n.d. and that essentially stands for no date and you would have the URL so that will then include n n.d. dot has no date in the in-text citation and it will also be included in the n-text citation in their reference list. The third example we're going to look at is from a web source such as social media. Let's have a look at the edit source information. Now I generally recommend for uh, information from social media such as Facebook, um, blog posts or Twitter to use the type of sources article in a periodical. Here we can enter the author information. If it's not a person's name, if it's only a nickname, use that. Enter a title for the web post, uh, for the Facebook post. At the end of the title, in square brackets, we include information about the type of source that we're looking at. So here we've used Facebook update. Other examples might be Twitter post or weblog post for blog posts or perhaps video file for a YouTube video for example. That's just to identify this as a slightly different type of resource than say a book, an article or a normal web page. Because we've used article in a periodical as our source type here, we can enter information such as the year, the month and the day of that particular Facebook post. And that information will be included in the in-text reference. When it comes to entering the URL for something such as a Facebook post, we have the um, Facebook post here for example. Use the URL that you can actually get from clicking on the date and time um, information, the date stamp. Just right click on that and copy that shortcut. And then use that information in the URL field. That will take you directly to the post rather than to the feed in general. 